Okay. Hello, kids. I'm your teacher, JR. So our lesson for today is about dividing two to three digit numbers by 10 and 100. So let's start our lesson. So remember, to divide whole numbers by 10 or 100, cancel the same number of zeros from both the dividend and the divisor. Again, so we only need to cancel the same numbers of zeros in your divisor and on, in your dividend, okay? So let's start our, uh, let's have our first example. So our first example is, so a civic organization receives a donation of 200 bottles of mineral water for the victims of Typhoon Yolanda in Tacloban City. The bottles of mineral water will be distributed equally among 10 families. So how many bottles of mineral water would each family receive? So as we have read the problem, we can easily say that we need to divide the 200 mineral bottles into the 10 families. Okay, so this problem involves division. So as we know, we this one is dividing numbers with zeros. Okay, so the given are we have 200 of mineral or 200 bottles of mineral water and the 10 families. Okay, so we need to do division. So we have 200 divided by 10. So again, in dividing in numbers by 10 and 100, we need first to, div to cancel a zero on your divisor and in your dividend. Remember to cancel the same or equal number of zeros in your divisor and in your dividend. So cancel one zero for your divisor and cancel one zero for your dividend. Again, do not cancel this other one, okay? So we need to cancel the same number of zeros. So after canceling the number of zeros, we will divide the remaining number. So here the remaining number is 20 and one. So 20 divided by one. So again, as, uh, as we learned on our previous uh, lesson, if we are going to divide a number by one, the answer is the number itself. So meaning 20 divided by one, the answer is 20. Another reminder, if we are dealing with the problems, always remember to put a label on your answer. So this 20, your answer is 20. So this 20 would be or should be 20 bottles of mineral water. Okay, is it clear? And now for our next uh, example. So again, the next example is the 500 pupils of San Isidro Elementary School are going on a pill trip. They will be distributed equally among 10 buses. So how many pupils will each bus uh, or will be in each bus, okay? So our given R, so we have here, 500 pupils and 10, okay? So we need to divide the 500 pupils into, into the 10 buses. So we have 500 divided by 10, okay? So again, cancel only the same number of zeros. So cancel one zero here and cancel one zero here. So after canceling, divide the remaining number, which is 50 divided by one. So the answer will be 50 pupils, okay? Understood? So next example. So the pupils are going to watch the dolphin show, which can accommodate 100 pupils per group. So. How many groups of 100 will there be in 500? So the given numbers, we have the given numbers, 100 and 500. But again, in division, it is important to identify which is your dividend and which is your divisor. Because if you change the position of your divisor and your dividend, the answer would be wrong, okay? Here, we need to divide the 500 
okay? The 500 pupils. So how many groups of 100 will there be in 500? So we need to divide 500. So 500 will be your dividend. Again, the dividend is the first number and your divisor is 100. So because there are two zeros in dividend and two zeros in your divisor, we could cancel two zeros each in our divisor and in our dividend. So now the remaining number is five and one, five in your dividend and five uh, and one in your divisor. So if we're going to divide five divided by one, the answer is five. So we were going to have five groups out of the 500 pupils, which is, or which has 100 pupils per group, okay? So next, let's have the next example. Angela and Kathy assist their teacher in arranging books in the library. They have to put 400 books in 10 bookshelves. How many books will there be in a bookshelf? So here, we need to divide the number of books into the number of bookshelves. So we have 400 books. Then we have also 10 bookshelves. So if we're going to divide 400, so 400 will be your dividend because you need to divide your 400 or which is the 400 books into the 10 bookshelves. So 10 will be your divisor. So in this example, we only have one zero in the divisor and then two zeros in the dividend. So we could, we could not cancel or we cannot cancel the two zeros in your dividend. We, only, we can only cancel one zero because we can only cancel one, uh, we, uh, the, your divisor own, contains only one zero, okay? So the remaining number is 40 divided by one. So 40 divided by one is 40. Very good. So this 40 is the num your number of books in each bookshelves, okay? Next example. There, there are different kinds of books in the library. If there are 100 books of each kind, how many kinds of books are there in 100 books or in 100? So here, your dividend should be the 800. So because we need to classify this 800 books into the one into the 100 class uh, 100 classification of books okay as you have read on this problem there are different kinds of books in the library if there are 100 books of each kind how many kinds of books are there in 100 so again there are 100 books of each kind so the advisor or dividend would be 800 and your divisor is 100. So in this example, we both have two zeros in our divisor and in our dividend. So now cancel one zero for your divisor, one zero for your dividend, cancel another zero for your divisor and another zero for your dividend. So we cancel both two zeros in our divisor and in our dividend. So we could now divide the remaining number, which is eight divided by one. So eight divided by one is eight, okay? So this last example, Rems and Angelou help the reporter pack mangoes to be sold in the market, they have gathered 850 mangoes to be divided equally between 10 baskets. How many mangoes are there in every basket? So we need to know how many mangoes are there in every basket. If there are 850 mangoes, okay, we have 850 mangoes here. 
then we only have 10 baskets. So how many mangoes are there in each basket? So again, we need to divide 850 divided by 10. So here we need to cancel again, zero, cancel one zero in your divisor, cancel one zero on your dividend. So the remaining number is 85 and on your divisor is one. So 85 divided by one is 85. So this 85 is the number of mangoes in every basket. So we have 85 mangoes in every basket, okay? So here, this, this time, it's your time to do an activity. So we have here 10 question. So you can now pause the video to answer the 10 question. Okay, so let's start to answer. So for number one, we have 560 divided by 10. So cancel one zero here. Cancel one zero on your dividend. So 56 divided by one is 56. Now, number two, 620 divided by 10. Cancel one zero each in our divisor and in our dividend. 62 divided by one, the answer is 62. Okay, on number three, 800 divided by 100. So cancel two zero in our divisor because we have two zero in our dividend. So cancel also two zeros in our dividend. So the remaining number eight divided by one. So the answer is eight. So now for number four, 810 divided by 10, cancel one zero and cancel one zero here. So we have now 81 divided by one. So the answer is 81. Okay, for number five, 430 divided by 10, cancel one zero and one zero on your dividend. So the remaining number, 43 divided by 10. So we have here 43, okay? So for number six, 900 divided by 10. Again, cancel only equal number of zeros because, because we only have one zero in our divisor. We can only, we can only cancel one zero in our dividend, okay? So we have now 90 divided by one. The answer is 90, okay? Next, we have 750 divided by 10. Cancel again one zero on both our divisor and dividend. So we have 75 divided by one. The answer is 75. So 1,000, next number, 1,000 divided by 100. Cancel two zeros in our divisor and cancel only two zero in our dividend, okay? So we have now 10 divided by one. The answer is 10. So for next number, 490 divided by 10. Cancel one zero here, one zero in our dividend. 49 divided by one, the answer is 49, okay? Next, 500 divided by 100. So we have to cancel two zeros in our divisor, cancel two zeros in our dividend. So the, our number now is five divided by one. So the answer is five, okay? So do I make myself clear? So I think that's it for today. Thank you for listening and goodbye.